today I will be talking about buy limit orders in Forex. A buy limit order is a type of pending order, which means it has not been executed yet, is pending until a certain condition is made. I will be showing you in these videos and I will show you how to execute it on a laptop as well as how to execute it even on the mobile apps of MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4. So stay with me and you will see how to execute that. I will give you examples and I will even show you. So what are the conditions that will necessitate you to use a buy limit order? You don't just place a buy limit order because you feel like you need to understand the market structure and you need to know what you are doing in Forex before using a buy limit order. I will enlarge this for you. So for a buy limit order, you can see from here that price got somewhere here at around this point. Price got to this point. Okay, so it started falling from this point and reached this level. It was pushed up to this point. It came down again trying to pass that level. It could not. It was pushed up again. What do you think will happen to price if it comes back to this level again? You expect it to push up again. Now, it means this level that you are seeing is a zone. So it's not going to be with a perfect line. This level that you are seeing is what some people will call the support level. So there's something supporting price and preventing it from going below this particular region. And this particular region is what is known as a demand zone, as others will call it, which means there's high demand for the asset around this point. So when it reaches here, there are a lot of people willing to buy. Or some people will say there's a support for it, preventing price from falling below that level. So these are the type of regions that you will place your buy limit orders. You don't just place your buy limit order without thinking. Okay. So if you are to place a buy limit order here, you can say, okay, let me put it at what level now? Since you have known the reason why you need to place a buy limit order, let me delete these blue lines for you to see it clearly. So if I need to put a buy limit order, I will put it somewhere around here. Why? Because when price comes around a level of support or a demand, it doesn't just go back immediately. Okay, what it does is it will try to take out a previous low. It will try to take out the last low that was formed. So this last candle that you see around here, this pointy week that you are seeing, it was taken out by this green one. So I believe when this thing comes back again, when price comes back to this level again, what it will do is it will try to take out this last week. I will place a buy limit order just at the end of that week which corresponds to a price level of 1.283. Since you have known a demand zone, let me delete this for you too. So this last week, where it is, that is where I am going to place my buy limit order. This price level, not at this, it's not this point. You will check the price level that corresponds with it on this part that you are seeing by your right hand side, the extreme part, the price point. Okay, so this particular line, it corresponds with 1.283. So you will place a buy limit order there. Where will your stop loss be? Your stop loss will just be some few pips below here. So this level now will be your stop loss. Let's say a few pips below. Okay. Good. So this will be our level of stop loss. Let me write it. So this will be our level of stop loss. And then this one will be where we will place our order. So we will put our buy limit order here and our stop loss here. Now our take profit, we can put something as high as this point. Let's put it somewhere around here. So the reason why you are using a buy limit order is simply because whether you are offline or you are sleeping, it will enter the market for you with a buy. And it will automatically activate your stop loss level and it will activate your take profit level. So when you wake up, you will see if the price has touched that particular price point where you are expecting it 
to enter the market, it will take you in. You will place a buy limit order below where the price is. You cannot place a buy limit order above a price level. It will not work. Your broker will not even give you the option to do that. Okay. So we are placing it below. This is where our current price level is. So once your buy limit order is activated, let's say price started from here. It kept coming down. Okay. Try to create it. Came and then it reaches this point. It will take you in. Then let's say it begins to go back around this point. Okay. So once it starts going up till it reaches where your level of take profit is, it will not give you the profit in your account. Now you are putting your stop loss because you don't know price may touch here. Instead of going upward to reverse, it may continue to go down. It will break that level and it will hit your stop loss. And if you don't put your stop loss, it means whatever amount that you have in your account will be drained. And you don't want that happening. So anytime you are setting a buy limit order, always remember to set your stop loss and also your take profit. Because if you are not there, sometimes if you don't set a take profit level, it may go, come and touch your take profit level and then go down again. So when you wake up, you'll find out that it is now coming down against you again, of which is not what you want. Okay, so always set these levels. Now, I want to show you how to execute that on your laptop or MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4. So here I'm going to click buy, okay? So you click on buy. This is the XNES platform, is the broker I use. You want to register with the broker, the link is in the description box. So a buy limit order, like I told you at the beginning, is a type of pending order. So you click on this pending to activate it, okay? This is the point where I want to enter 1.283. So you will place it over here, enter, 1.283, okay? So you see, it's, it's shifted down here, this, this line showing you where the pending order is. It's shifted down there. Now our stop loss level, we want to put it at 1.2817. So you activate, toggle this on 1.2828, right? One, seven, good. Now our take profit level is around here, 1.3. So our take profit level, toggle the take profit part, we put 1.3, 1.3, good. Now, once you are done, you scroll down and click confirm buy limit. You see it's showing us buy limit, okay? We click on confirm buy limit. Now, how many lot size? I did not tell you about it though. So you can, you see you can specify the lot size that you want to enter. Okay, you can reduce it. I'm entering with 10 lot size. Now this means I have placed a buy limit order, but it has not been activated yet. Whether price dangles to where the take profit is, it will not give me anything because it has not been activated. Price at the position where it is now must come down to touch my point where I am waiting for it. Once it touches it, it activates this buy limit order before the stop loss level will be activated and before the take profit level will be activated. That is how to go about it on a laptop or on XNES web terminal. I'm going to show you how to activate that on your MetaTrader 5, MT5 and MT4. Good, so from this same account, the demo account that I'm showing you, this is the buy limit that I placed on the web terminal. So I want to show you how to place it on MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4. So this is the MetaTrader 5 platform. So in your MT5, you come down to where it's written your code, your code. So come down, click on it. It should pop up these things for you. So I'm going to press and hold this to execute the new order. So I'm going to press and hold this to pop out. So you click on new order that is popping out. New order. Good. Here is starting with market execution. It's not market execution that we want. We want a buy limit. So this drop down triangle, you click on it. 
So it will drop down the different types of orders in Forex. And meanwhile, I have made a video regarding all of these things one by one. You can go to my playlist and you see types of orders in Forex. And then uh, you can watch each of them that you are having any issue with them. So I am going to click the buy limit option. So once we are there, this white part that you are seeing, 0 0.05 written on it, this is the part for your lot size. So you edit it to the amount of lot size that you want to enter the market. With. So it's 0 0.5 lot size I want to enter. So here will be your level of the price level where you think if price you reach, you want to enter for a buy. So on the web terminal here, we saw that the price, when it got to this point, it returned. So let's say we are buying at 1.284. I want to just distinguish it from the normal buy limit, okay, that we just did on the laptop. So let me put at this price level, okay. So 1.286, 1.286. So you come over here and put your price here should be 1.286. 1.286. So here should be for your stop loss and here for your take profit level. So our take profit level, we can put 1.35. And then our stop loss level, let's go back and see where we put was somewhere here, but let's put it lower, 1.28. Just to distinguish it from that of the web terminal. So 1.28. Okay, once you are done, you click on place your order under here. So I'll click on it. So it has been placed. So you can see the two of these are already here. They have been placed. Now you can go to the chart to look at them. Let me press and hold and go to the chart option. Let me shrink them for you. Good. So I'm shrinking it for you to see it clearly, the levels of the buy limit. So this was where we place it, buy a limit order of 0 0.5 lot size, and then buy limit order of 10 lot size. There are stop loss levels like these ones that you are seeing. So any of the stop loss levels or any of the buy limit point if I press, you will see. So this one is 0 0.5, it corresponds with a stop level of $300 if I lose. That is how to place a buy limit order and also to set the stop loss and also to set the take profit levels on MT5 and MT4. And I have shown you how to also do that even on your web terminal of XNES. Now, if you have any other question regarding this, let me know in the comment section. Until next time, bye.